What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. I just want to make a quick update video for a lot of people who don't know. Every now and then I get rude responses to my videos. Dude, this shit is super late. I understand sometimes the videos are a few days after the news. And the reason that that is actually occurring is because I choose usually one day out of the week to blitz my channel. I'll do all my videos in one single day. Yes, I know people will say, man, that's insane. You do 10, 12 videos in one day? Yeah, I do. Sometimes it's really hard for me to, to stretch it out throughout the week because I have a very demanding work schedule. On top of that, I got four kids and a pregnant wife. So it's like a lot that I have to do with my life. And so I usually schedule one day throughout the weekend. I do all my videos during that period of time. Uh, this week, I did do, do a number of videos over the weekend, but I never even finished editing them uh, due to very, very strenuous work week. Uh, but I wanted to gloss over some of the information from earlier in the week and around the weekend and pretty much give you guys my thoughts on it. This will be kind of a catch up for some of the news that you guys might already know about. First, let's talk about no mods for PlayStation 4 for Fallout 4 or for the Skyrim, Skyrim Collector's Edition uh, for PlayStation 4. Apparently, Bethesda made a statement stating that they have done everything they can to bring mods to Fallout 4 for the PlayStation 4, but Sony has let them know, and in no, no uncertain terms, that Fallout 4 mods will not be available to play as they are right now. What that means for the future, who knows? There's been speculation that uh, Fallout 4 mods are uh, causing Xbox Ones to crash and that Sony does not want that to happen on their console. That would be, to me, the only reason that Sony would even have the right to do something like that. And even then, I think that it's really up to the consumer more so than anybody else if they actually want to install mods on their games. Hopefully, Sony comes through and does that. As a predominantly console gamer, I would love to see some of that PC architecture migrate over to the PlayStation 4 like it has on the Xbox One. Unfortunately for me, I do have Fallout 4 on PlayStation 4, not on the Xbox One, and the mods have been on Xbox One for quite some time. Moving on, Super Mario Run for iOS. Nintendo is trying to kill it. I don't know what to say about them. I think that the whole idea of Pokemon Go has gotten to their head, but from the looks of it, they might be able to pull it off again. Mario Run is coming to iOS very, very soon. I think it's going to be released in November. Uh, and it looks like a traditional side-scrolling Mario game from the Wii era. It looks very, very fun. You're able to run and jump off walls, and it's basically an endless runner. The very first one starring Mario, and that alone really, really gets people excited. The gameplay that I've seen does look very fun and fresh. I don't think that it's possible that another game can, you know, in this short period of time, outdo Pokemon Go, but Nintendo was the one behind that. And if anybody can outdo Pokemon, it's definitely Mario. And, uh, you know, I give Nintendo lots of credit and respect for their mobile endeavors. Nobody thought that, you know, Nintendo going mobile would be as successful as it has been in such a short period of time, especially when they were talking about Miitomo in the beginning. Moving on, Xbox One has destroyed PlayStation for two months in a row. Xbox did win the month of August, according to NPD. Of course, they did not give actual numbers of how many consoles were sold, but the driving force behind Xbox One defeating Sony was the Xbox One S. Uh, a lot of things have been happening over the last couple of weeks, especially over the last week or so after Sony announced the PlayStation 4 Pro and uh, the PlayStation Slim, which is kind of lackluster compared to the Xbox One S. I think that this is probably the time that Microsoft can turn the tides and really come back and steal some of that glory that Sony has really accrued over the last three years. Sony's making some apparent missteps. I'm not going to say that they are 100%. But uh, the, the choices that they made and the revelations that they've given the consumer are, to me, kind of lacking compared to what Microsoft is talking about. And if Sony continues on this path, especially with things like no uh, modifications and mods for their games, uh, a slim console that really doesn't have any bells or whistles, and a pro console uh, that really doesn't even have an Ultra HD player built in like the Xbox One S, a lot of consumers are going to see that and go over to the Xbox side. And finally, Xbox Live is faster than PlayStation Network. An independent study has found this to be true, that Xbox Live beats Sony and everything other than grouping parties together, uh, Xbox wins. 
And I'm really not surprised. PlayStation Network is not that great of a service, even though you do pay for it now and it's just as expensive as Xbox Live. I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to get all these stories out to you guys individually. I scrapped all that audio and I wanted to just make one seamless video to talk to you guys about it, let you guys know what I think about it. I will try vigilantly to keep up with everything that's going on, but as you guys know, there's also a lot going on with me. One day the day will come where I work full time from YouTube and Twitch streaming and I'm able to support my family and my life and everything is great. But as of now, I still run a laboratory. I still have to go to work every morning at five and I don't get home until five every single day, Monday through Friday. So it is tough, but I appreciate you guys bearing with me. Let me know what you think about all this news in the comment section below. Thank you all for being so gracious. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, show support for my channel. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.